Well, the city of Cleveland has something to celebrate this weekend on its 222nd birthday. Ahead of the big day, News 5's John Kosick has a history lesson from the summer of 1796. For Cleveland, July 22 brings a chorus of happy birthday to you. And on our cake, we've accrued a candle count now at 222. For it was on this day in the year 1796, Moses Cleveland arrived at the mouth of not the river Styx, but the river Cuyahoga, a Native American word for crooked. And after striking a deal with the natives, he essentially took it. Actually, it wasn't that harsh. His group observed proper etiquette, having purchased the rights to the land from his home state of Connecticut. In the ensuing weeks, however, he was much more than a tourist, mapping out and surveying this so-called Western Reserve, a north coastal forest. But in plotting the framework for what would become his namesake city, the Connecticut Land Company he was part of decided by committee to replicate something found in New England towns. And that was a common spot where folks could gather around. A 10-acre parcel is still the one we all share, known now as known then as our public square. Since 1888, Moses Cleveland has stood watch over this place, but on the base of his statue, you'll notice the space. Between the E and the V in his name, there's an A, something not found in the name of our city today. So where did it go to? Well, legend has it the city's first paper is the villain in this caper, for Cleveland with an A wouldn't reportedly fit on the paper's masthead, so the decision was made. The A was the one to omit. True or not, it makes a great story. Not that Moses ever saw it, because for all of the glory he receives now for being our founding father, the truth is he didn't happen to bother to call Cleveland his home, returning instead to the New England coast, where he would live out his days and proudly boast of being the one to get Cleveland started. And the path that he charted is not just a historical notation. We all proudly know it as the best location in the nation. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.